Hope all is well. Hope you're having a wonderful day, evening, night, whenever you're hearing this. Let's get into some spirit baby messages. Okay, we're going to see what messages your babies would like to tell you at this point in time. Okay, what do you want them to know, babies? Okay, what do you want them to know at this time? We are twins, yay! You are creating your own beautiful family. So some of you may have had a lot of difficulties with your actual family. But, but these spirit babies let you know, like, look, you are creating your own beautiful family, okay? Um, all the things that you have went through and been through, you know, now you could teach your children what you thought you knew. It's time to heal your inner child so that you don't project that pain and fear any further on your future children. Especially if, if those who have children and for those who don't have children yet. Spirit is saying you're about to create a family, okay? So definitely work on you. Work on that inner child. Love yourself. Hug yourself. Um, be patient with yourself. And this will help teach you how to be patient with your babies, okay? We are twins. Listen, it's a growth. It's a learning process. It wasn't no books handed to us. We didn't know how things was going to go. And a lot of us had unhealed trauma and stuff like that that we projected on our ch children, that was projected on us from our, our parents, that was projected on them from their, you know what I'm saying, and so on and so forth. And you are now breaking that curse, okay? You will be able to see my little footprint soon. Mm-hmm. You will be able to see my little footprint soon. I'm a lot like little you. Uh-oh. So cute. You're almost there. Listen, don't give up. Because you're almost there. Can't wait to meet you. Aww. And for some of you, you will be first time meeting um, these babies. And what I mean by that is because some of them... Some of them are coming from your person's bloodline who you never met here in this 3D plane. Don't feel bad. I'm coming back. So for those of you who had miscarriages, may have had abortions, whatever you may have went through, it wasn't the right timing for those babies. And they're saying, don't be, don't be, don't feel bad. I'm coming back. You're breaking generational curses, mommy and daddy. Keep going. Didn't I just say that, though? Literally, I just said that. Come on, spirit babies. Two boys and two girls, and that's going under. We are twins, yay. So some of y'all might be having identical twins if that's what you want. Some of you might be having, like, boy, girl, and then have another set, boy, girl, okay? I am a part of your spirit team. I am a part of your spirit team. Daddy will be home soon. So, for one, your, your babies are part of your spirit team. They are helping to bring this together, okay? They're part of your family. But um, also, this daddy will be home soon. Like, I feel like this is sooner than you think. Yeah, this is sooner than you think. Um, then we have daddy is spying again. And that goes under you're almost there. So, dad is down for twins. Can't wait to meet you. The baby saying can't wait to meet daddy too. Cause like I said before, um, some like the boy or the girl, one one of your children might be from your person's bloodline, the other person might come down from your bloodline, um, depending on how many children you have it. And if you are not able to have um children physically, there's other ways to have children with like or um surrogate or adoption or like this could be a grandchild this could be a niece this could be a godchild um you will feel it because you will have some type of soul recognition that you're supposed to be in this baby's life and this baby will embrace you as well i'm a boy so your boy somebody could have lost a son or had a miscarriage or something and it was a boy um they're saying don't feel bad i'm coming back i like taking pictures and Mommy is your good luck charm, Daddy. You are blessed. Yes, we're going to pull a few more. Why not? Why not? 
You're creating your own beautiful family. And you're almost there. Keep going. Daddy wants a son. And can't wait to meet my older siblings. Oh, look, Daddy said I want a boy, okay? They want a junior probably. I've been showing you my name everywhere to get your attention. Stylish like my mama. So what I feel like that just came dawns on me too. Daddy will be home soon. Daddy wants a son. It's like if y'all was to have one child first, they want a boy first. But I feel like um, they down for twins. So if you want boy, girl, boy, girl, long as they have a boy too. That's what, they want to manifest that. Or that's what they are manifesting. I love my name you picked out. We are twins, two boys. I can't make this up. Like, your boys is coming through, okay? When you see a twin's birthday, it's because they're thinking of you. So, your person has been thinking of you and thinking about creating a family with you. Been spying on you, looking at your pictures, your videos. Big changes ahead. Be prepared, okay? Daddy wants me to be a junior. I'm done, y'all. I'm done, I'm done, okay? This is so beautiful. Like, mommy, daddy changed a lot. So, daddy is no longer the same. And I'll look more like mommy is right here. I'll look more like mommy. So, maybe your boy might look a little bit more like, like um, the mommy, whether that's you or your person. Mommy, when you see daddy, give him loads of kisses. Him, her, take what resonates for you. But, um... I feel like, um, and with the, I look more like you, I look more like mommy can mean that they could have more of your features, complexion, or something like that along them lines. And we have, don't worry, you get everything you want, including me or us. So there's no need for you to stress here. And I'll see you soon enough, y'all. <laughs> Your baby's on the way. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. You don't have to wonder what I am. Daddy on the way to come start a family with mommy. Daddy is trying to get your attention. Mommy, daddy misses you a lot. <laughs> matching outfits and matching sne sneakers. Now, usually that that is for like the babies, like mommy and baby or mommy daddy and baby but i feel like that's the whole family it, it's giving mommy and daddy gonna be matching um all the kids gonna be matching whether it's colors um picture taking taking pictures all of that cute good stuff okay mommy is very sensitive right now and mommy and daddy you will have more than enough to take care of us mommy and daddy you're perfect as you are and Smile, mommy, and when I come, you will smile even more. Smile, mommy and daddy. Tiny hugs and kisses. So, they're sending you so much love. Look, I'm a girl showed up, and daddy, went, daddy wants you to have his last name, <laughs> okay? And I look just like the both of y'all. With mommy and daddy are getting married. We're going to end that there, okay? Because that's, that's a beautiful message. That's your spirit, babies. Wanted you to know at this time, okay? Hold on, y'all. Let's get right into some romance angels. <clears throat> We're going to get into some romance angels. What would you want? Look, reconciliation, y'all. I can't make this up. Flirt and wedding is sticking out. Reconciliation, wedding, flirt. I see deception too. It's time to take off the mask. Let your friends help you. So I feel like, yeah, this person, your person could be getting help from spirit at this time. Because um, they're going through a lot of healing. They're going through a healing, a major healing process. And I feel like when it's ask, ask for and accept support from others, I feel like this is with spirit. This could be somebody that they trust. But I feel like for the most part, this person... Um, it's talking to God, Spirit, the Most High, Jah. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. And this could be the one. And release your ex. Free yourself, boo-boo. 
all right, and express your love, separation, and healing family issues. This person feel like you, you're you their um, family. And they feel like you are the one. They want to have a family with you. They want to marry you. That's all over this reading. Like the spirit babies just told you that. Now the romance angels telling you that. And you're going to be in a honeymoon phase very soon. That's how y'all going to create <laughs> those spirit babies, okay? Worth waiting for. This is well worth the wait. Calling in your soulmate. You deserve this love. You are lovable very soon. This is happening. Stay optimistic about your love life. Because they in the process of freeing themselves from people, places, and things that no longer serve them. But they already feel like you are the one. Okay? They recognizing that this is safe. That they can love you. You create a safe place for them to love you. They could be getting help from spirit to bring this into fruition. Um, they may come in a little flirty. They may be getting help with spirit to how like to flirt with you. They don't <laughs> this person is giving off this little shy. Like I feel like on the surface, this person is a little shy with their feelings and stuff towards you. It's like a little giddy. Like cause y'all like back at like being little kids again, like, you know, do you like me? Yes or no, check the box type energy. <laughs> and um you check the box, yes, and they just like be like cracking up. <laughs> like I feel like it's that type of energy, but I feel like um they they have this innocence about them and the shyness, but then their other side is like just as extreme, like they a beast for real, for real. Alright, what's going on? What's this reconciliation? What's this reconciliation spirit? Someone from your past is returning to your life, okay? So, for those of you who do not want somebody from their past, um, this message may not be for you. This could be for somebody new that's coming into your life, or this could be just somebody that's wanting to reconcile, but that doesn't mean you have to. Um, this right here, this message is for mainly for twin flames that's trying to come into reunion. Okay, high-level soulmates. What's this reconciliation, please? Hear anything from this deck? Kanga Cups. <laughs> this is a trustworthy, worthy, honorable post person that's devoted, okay? Someone you can completely trust. This person is ready to express their love. They have a lot of love to give. Like, I feel like this person is on their way back. Look at the ships. Look, the three of ones. Your ships are here. Like, it's no longer in this waiting energy. This person no longer wants you to wait anymore. This person no longer wants to hold back their feelings, their emotion. Because usually the King of Cups, it'd be like rocky waters. Not this one. This King of Cups is in calm water. This person knows how, how they feel about you. And they're ready to come in in a very passionate way. They could be a, a water sign or could be a fire sign, okay? This King of Wands, all right? They could be ending a marriage too. A marriage could have ended in deceit, all right? But this person is ready to take action. Um, the proper thing, like the last reading that I just did, it showed courtship. They want to court you. But they had to first get out of this toxic energy where they may have been betrayed by a spouse or somebody. They could be leaving a home. They had enough. And this person is on their way towards where the sun shines at. Because wherever they were living at, it was very cold. See, they got that. And they're going out to where it's warm at. Period. The sun. This person is coming in very flirty. They want to extend their lighthearted energy. It don't even necessarily have to be in a very flirty way. I mean, they want you to flirt with them. Like, they want to flirt with you. But... I feel like this is just in a light energy. They're coming in. They have changed. Mommy, daddy changed a lot. Yeah. This person has changed. They have opened their heart. A lot of people are afraid of the darkness. When you're first going through your awakening, you're like, no, I'm not dark. I don't. It's dark and light within you. You have to go and tap into the darkness that, that's, uh, you know, go into the gutter of, of where those hidden emotions, those... Um, traumas and stuff you have to go tap into that in order to find your light 
And this person has found their light. They were in a dark place for a long time. And now this person is ready to shine bright. They're walking away from the darkness, from the from the cold. They're coming. It's crazy because wherever they were at, inside was cold. And outside is where the warmth is at. They're walking, stepping into that sunlight, okay? Five of, I can't make this up. Five of Pentacles is right here. They're coming out of the cold. <laughs> They're coming out of the cold and, and getting tapped into the sun so that they can warm up. They're ready to renew this. This is renewal energy. This is fresh. Um, you feel like springtime. You feel like summertime. You you make this person feel happy. Look, here's another card of walking away from a home. Eight of Cups. Them and their dog is leaving. This person's like, forget that. I'm going to pack me and my dog stuff. And the dog like, you leaving all those cups behind? This person like, yeah, and walking away to their sunshine, okay? They they got help getting out of that situation, or they're getting help to get out of that situation, okay? Um, they could be saving up to get out, to move, or whatever, but spirit is saying, hold tight. There's no need for you to worry about anything, excuse me, and manage your resources wisely at this time. Y'all, because you're about to manifest something very beautiful. You have what it takes. You have all the tools to, to manifest exactly what you want. And this is what's happening. You're finally manifesting everything that you want. But you had to let go of your ego. This person could have been going through a lot of conflicts and stuff. Like, I'm not tapping into all that karmic energy. Not in this reading. No, you don't. Let me see. What's this magician that takes to love? <laughs> all right four cups with the page of um swords with the dreamer which is the full card so i feel like definitely big aries energy out here um aries leo sagittarius a lot of water energy earth energy is out here leo energy is out here um but i feel like this person once has been watching and waiting for the perfect time you could feel like it's rejection but it's not this person does not want to look all right failing to recognize a magical opportunity missing the point the distractions of daily life so i feel like this person could be in this energy of being distracted or trying to distract themselves could be putting um money time and effort into work but i feel like it was just a lot of distractions around this person from seeing their true potential in the magic of this relationship that's why they were holding back. But I feel like with this energy of this page of swords, this person is now seeing things from a logical perspective. They're now seeing things. They're seeing the truth in this whole situation because we have taken a leap here. They're making a, a new decision with this two of wands, planning planning <laughs> to run away from people, places, and things. They're, they're planning a move, okay? Trust your intuition, all right? They, they're coming in to heal this soulmate connection they already choose you they want to work together they want to collaborate with you they feel victorious with you they're coming out of this victim energy being confused lost not knowing what to do and this is happening very quickly so expect them to be coming in to take a leap of faith they will not miss this opportunity and that's what spirit wants you to know they already know that you're the one um they're just trying to heal from whatever whatever um else has been going on keeping them in that low frequency energy they're cutting ties with people places and things that was holding them back and distracting them so that they can free themselves and take that leap of faith a new start trust yourself push your fears aside and take a leap of faith so say a prayer for yourself and your person be kind and gentle to yourself and your person look victory and success Victory, wise choices that bring public recognition and success, promotions, awards, and scholarships. The will, a fresh new start, or the end of delays, sudden or unexpected progress, a very positive change in your life, travel, or new vehicle. Y'all, that says a lot. You got good fortune on your side. You got a new love coming in, wanting to put a ring on it or whatever. Um, Wanting to get you pregnant, um, wanting to start a family, you you as the person they want to be with, um, leaving out of a toxic situation, 
healing themselves. This person already know. Look, trustworthy, honorable, devoted, cautious, someone you can completely trust, a situation that is safe, hence it is safe for you to love, a solid romantic relationship, hidden but well intentions, emotions, a charitable um, benefactor, seeing a counselor. Yeah, this person could be getting some advice from somebody, but I hope they're not because, like, unless it's spirit, look, they want to heal this. Have faith. The future is bright. Dreams come true. Positive changes that bring an end to challenging times. The light at the end of the tunnel. I can't make this up. Like, I can't make this up. Where that dreamer? The sun and the dreamer. The sun and the dreamer, which is the fool. This person is being guided. Look, look at the angel in the background. Being guided towards this new beginning, okay? You can trust this situation. It is safe for you to love, okay? Push past your fears. Don't let fears, don't let fear, doubt, and worry um, cause you to miss another opportunity with the person that you're supposed to be with, okay? Free yourself from toxic people, places, and things that no longer serve you. They serve their purpose, okay? Time to move forward with faith and light and love, okay? A time of great joy and success, brilliant epiphanies that lead to magical opportunities. Plans that work out perfectly. Gratitude to the divine. So say a prayer for yourself and your person. Be kind and gentle to yourself and your person. Namaste.